Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, the latest gamma ray sky, an earthquake forecast, twin papers on super flaring, and one on Nova Trigger Science, which is changing again. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun with several pops, expanding crackling areas, and coronal holes. One of the snapping motions was a solar flare that reached M-class, but none of them released CMEs at Earth. We do continue to have the slow rise upward in activity here that you may recall. We have predicted to peak near the end of February or early March in terms of flare power. On the other side of the discussion, we are still awaiting the coronal hole stream enhancement of the solar wind this morning. It's a couple hours late at this point. Let's start the articles aesthetically with the gamma ray sky. The latest release includes most of the newest Hess sources, which are the ones that seem to show the evenly spaced pattern within the galactic plane, almost like there is a cyclical excitement there or something. Wink. Sort of a scary forecast here as geologists have discovered slow slip action indicative of a mega quake hitting southwestern Japan in the years ahead. This would be about as powerful as the 2011 Tohoku quake, but much more devastating in that location. Twin papers up next focus on flare inactive dwarf stars. They found a shocking number without binaries, just singles, with sunspots, rapidly rotating and yet not flaring. There's more than rotation speed involved in that story. However, of the flares they did notice in their study, they ranged from about X20 to X5000, which is about expected for dwarf super flaring. And last but not least, a discussion of accretion-driven nova events. And here, they're rewriting the script on how it works yet again, describing the critical importance of chemistry as opposed to simply mass transfer in a numbers game based on the stellar mass. Once again, the supposed rock-solid, unquestionable story of nova changes. It's only the hundredth time we've seen that in the last two years, and all of these moves take us further from the old paradigms of what's certain versus impossible and bring us one step closer to their realization that the sun can have a long period recurrent micronova event as well. Most of us will probably live to see the next one. That topic is firmly covered in our other book. Yesterday we shared the solar climate forcing textbook and today it's the disaster text. Both are at otf.cells.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.